Welcome to the Beam tutorial for the Terra 400. In this video, we will be going through a brief overview of setting up and using your Terra 400. The items in the box are the Terra 400. At the front of the terminal, you will see the signal LED, call LED and message LED. The passive directional fixed antenna the USB cable, the DC power cable, and the AC power pack. You will notice our SIM card is a link SIM. This must be used in the Terra 400. The SIM card is accessed at the rear of the terminal. Release the SIM cover by unclipping the latch. Raise the tray and insert the SIM card. Fit the SIM cover once the SIM has been inserted. To connect the Terra 400 to the antenna, Certified satellite and GPS antenna cables must be used. At the top of the terminal, there is an SMA connector, the small gold connector on the right, and a satellite connector, the large silver connector on the left. The cables will have matching connectors. The GPS SMA cable end, the small gold connector on the left, and the TNC antenna cable end, the large silver connector on the right. Connect the SMA connectors and the TNC connectors by screwing into the unit. Avoid over tightening any antenna connectors. At the other end, we need to connect these same cables to the antenna. Here we will connect the antenna cable labelled INMARSAT to the SMA antenna connector labelled ISAT. Then connect the antenna cable labelled GPS to the SMA antenna connector labelled GPS. You must ensure the antenna is positioned correctly with no obstructions or tall structures that could block the signal between the antenna and the satellites. We have further videos in relation to antenna placement for your reference. The rear connector bay has a USB data port, an RJ11 POTS port and a DC power and accessory input. The RJ11 POTS port allows you to connect any standard analogue POTS telephone that is supported by the Terra 400 terminal. The terminal supplies power to the analogue phone as well as ring, dial and busy tones. There are two cables available for connecting power to the unit. This is accessed at the rear of the terminal. Firstly, to connect the DC power source, the DC power cable has three wires, black, yellow and red. When connecting the wires, route the wire end of the DC cable to the connection point. Connect the black wire to the negative terminal of the battery. Connect the red wire to the positive terminal of the battery. Connect the yellow wire to a switch. If the sleep function is not required, the yellow wire must be connected to the red wire permanently. Secondly, you have the option to install using a 110 to 240 volt plug pack. Connect the four-way microfit power connector to the connector at the rear of the unit. Switch your power on and the signal LED will start flashing red. Once registered, the signal LED will start flashing green. From here, we can start making calls successfully. This has been a video tutorial by Beam Communications. For more information, go to our website www.beamcommunications.com.